Good evening, everyone. Well, apparently Mother ha Mother Nature hasn't learned the phrase everything in moderation. <laughs> she just dumped on us this morning. Mm. Since midnight, almost five inches of rain over parts of Smith County, including Tyler at Tyler Pounds. One to two inches of rainfall in other parts in Panola and Shelby County. And then we got to uh, Van Zant and Henderson County, about an inch, inch and a half. Just too much. Flash flooding, low visibility here this evening. Slippery roads due to hydroplaning. So please be careful if you're out and about. Right now we have heavy rain to moderate rain from Glade water back to Overton down toward Tyler and White House. These are not severe storms. The rain inside of it may be as it could cause some additional flash flooding here tonight. We do have a flash flood watch in effect until 10 o'clock for some of the counties out to our northwest. But this is a large area of soaking rain. It's going to come in and just aggravate anything that was flooded this morning. And right now we've got wet streets. It's down to 76 degrees. The winds are blowing at around 23 miles an hour. Umbrella cast here this evening. I'm going with at least a 60 percent chance of rain and then overnight it drops back down to a 20 percent chance of rain and then back up to about a 50 percent chance of rain tomorrow afternoon. Future rainfall totals could be back into that two to three inch total again. Carthage, Nacogdoches to Lufkin. So we may have some flash flooding over deep east Texas here tonight. Let's watch the roads very carefully for that. All right, going forward in time from 7 p.m. Rain comes to an end about 11 tonight. Overnight, just a couple of isolated showers moving through at 730. Then during the day tomorrow, we've got off and on scattered showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow's daytime high should be able to sneak up close to 90. Friday, it dries out, maybe an isolated shower over deep east Texas, but I think the bigger point will be the heat that builds in by Friday afternoon as we go back into the low to mid 90s for daytime highs. Mold spores, check this out today. They were in the 10,000 range. They will likely be as high, if not higher, as we go into the weekend and dry out. Breezy and hot on Saturday, 94, sunny and hot on Sunday right around 94. And by the way, this is Hurricane Grace. Just was upgraded to a hurricane today. The good news is it moves well south of the tip of Texas, but it may send eight to 10 foot waves into South Padre Island this weekend, two to four foot waves up around Galveston, but it's currently packing a wind of around 80 miles an hour. All right, here's the uh, seven day forecast. Bill Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast for Gilmer, Tyler and Longview. Tomorrow up to 90, Friday 92, Saturday and Sunday 94 and breezy. Then it turns hot for Monday and Tuesday and a 30% chance of rain next Wednesday. Deep East Texas, pretty similar tomorrow, a high of 90, but a 60% chance of rain and a 20% chance of rain on Friday, 94. Then Saturday, 96 after a morning low of 74, up to 98 Sunday and Monday and trying to hit the century mark Tuesday and Wednesday. But I think all this rain here recently will keep us just a, a tick below 100 in the middle part of next week.